I'm Mum Cass. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. So, exciting news. I had a company contact me saying that they had seen my channel and that they wanted me to have one of their um, glass infusing teapots test out and review on my channel. So, here I am. That's what I'm doing. So, doesn't it look lovely? I've wanted a teapot for a while, so this is nice and handy. If you know me at all, you'll know that I love my hot drinks. I live on hot drinks, basically. Um, and I've, I've made quite a few on the channel. So, I haven't drank real tea from tea leaves for a very long time, since I was a little girl. My nan used to read... My nanny Grace used to read tea leaves and tarot cards. And that was the last time I've ever tried real tea, tea leaves. So I thought I'll get these to try in this infuser. We've got English breakfast tea, Earl Grey tea and English afternoon tea. I'm also going to get some of the other items to make some infusion teas like um, mint, and, uh, mint and lemon. There's some different ones in here. Look. Let's have a look at this tea recipe guide. So what company is it? It's Pluie Soleil. It's 1,200 mils. It's a stainless steel, removable infuser, high re heat resistant and non-dripping spout. Let's have a look at the side. Handmade glass, thick clear glass, elegant design, stove top safe, that's good. Removable infuser, vent hole for safety, non-drip spout, so that should be stainless steel. And then you've got all the links to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, so it's steps to usage. Wash and warm up the glass teapot with hot water. Put tea into teapot and wash tea. Wait a few minutes to see, steep the tea and then strain the tea solids and pour hot tea into teacups. And you've got all your manufacturer information. We've got warm tips, toothpaste and baking soda can clean up the tea stains. It's a smooth surface, detachable lid and filter enable an easy cleaning. Dry it with soft towel and avoid contacting with hard objects which may cause scratches. Through dish, though dishwasher friendly, hand washing is easier and recommended. Use the pot in a microwave oven. The metal parts must be removed, including the lid, infuser and the conductive plate. And then there's a, a hotline if you have any questions. Milk tea, which is what we're going to have. Got some black tea, a dash of milk and honey. So I'll have that. And we've got citrus iced tea, which is ordinary tea leaves, bitter orange. Two tablespoons caster sugar, ten sprigs of mint and half a sliced orange, mint leaves and ice to serve. Lemon and ginger tea, we'll try that one day. Turmeric tea, we'll try that one day. And I'll, I'll film each time that I try a different one, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to get the pot, teapot out of this lovely a box that's well protected. Got here very quickly. Got a sponge uh, cleaner inside that's handy. Got a wooden lid. So now I'm going to rinse out with hot water from the kettle then I'll reboil the kettle and bring it through for um, making our tea okay so I've rinsed it out with boil like with hot water and now I've got my boiling water in the kettle right so I'm going to try the English afternoon tea because it's like afternoon early evening time probably helped if I bring a teaspoon so let me go get so I'm going to do enough for two cups of tea so I believe we do two a cup a teaspoon for each cup and then one for the pot right right I hope that's right two 
keep these bottles as well. I like them. So then we're going to pour boiling water. Halfway up because I have a big, very big cup. Let's put loads of boiling water as well. Okay, I'm going to allow that to steep. Let's see, pull it up. I'm going to put the lid on and allow that to do its business for a few minutes. Looks nice and browny now. What do you think? Give it a few more minutes. Okay, so I think my tea is nicely infused. I'm going to pour it into my cup. Now the question is, am I going to start reading tea leaves? <laughs> we'll get some green tea as well, we'll do some green tea too. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -mm. That's really enjoyable. I've never tried Earl Grey tea, you know. I've always wanted to. So I'll give that one a try next. And the breakfast tea. Normally I drink coffee in the morning, but I will especially give it a go. Because what a beautiful teapot. And I'm very grateful to the company for sending it to me for review. Um, I cannot argue with it. It is a great teapot, really pretty, fits in any kitchen. Um, something I've wanted for ages. Um, and yeah, you can you can make all sorts in there. And once you start with the green tea and that, you can go for some really healthy options. In the summer, we can go with some iced tea options. So yeah. Thank you ever so much for sending me this. I'm grateful and I love it. I would recommend it. Um, no argument there. It really infused lovely and it only dip, took a, a couple of minutes. So, great job. Thank you guys. Much love. Breathe easy, folks. I'll see you again soon. Bye.